Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome again. Tonight's topic is creation. We're going to speak about the story of creation basically. And before before I start this, I must say we are living in a very crucial time we're living in a great time it could be hell for some people and it could be heaven for others so you have to be very careful about what time it is creation what is creation creation happens every day a woman gives birth every day everything is creation every thought that comes from your mind is creation creation happen every minute every second of our lives what I'm trying to say is, is you do not need a creation story about who you are if it's not from within you basically when you go to the market try to buy something the sale person will try to give you the features of this product. This product has this. It can walk in water. It can do that. It can it has very nice. It's, it's, you can put battery in it. You can put it in charge. You can whatever. So we give you information, loads of information that you don't need. And the reason is mind control. Because when you get information that you don't need, you become in a you become in a in a shock state or you become like listening, just listening to this guy and saying that oh, wow, wow, oh, wow. He has wow. You see? So this is how life happens. I do not need to give you a creation story. I do not need to tell you where do you come from. This is not a priority for you. What you need is to go within yourself and meditate. So you need to know about your chakras because they are yours, you have it. You need to develop these chakras. So, religion gives you this creation story, right? It tells you about how God created Adam and Hawa from his rib and all. Right? Let me tell you something. order for you to understand creation you need to develop your spiritual vehicle that you have because this is a vehicle that you have you need to develop this vehicle to know about this you don't need a creation story the problem with creation story is it limits your mind it limits your infinite creation you are an, you are an infinite creation so when someone tells you a story he 
it limits it in just this little story that happened and give it time while creation does not have time creation happens every day that's why in ancient time like in ancient Kemet or ancient Lemuria they don't have a creation story they have bunch of creation stories not one matter of fact every god has a creation story you got the Khabra the scarab beetle he pushes the sun or pushes the dirt and that's how transformation comes about you have a story of Hanum the ram the ram headed one and he's creating man and woman in, in, a, in a portal in a wheel that he made putting man and woman a story it's just a story but it's not this you don't have to take it literally you don't take it word for word remember earlier when I speak about knowledge you don't have to take the you don't have to take it word for word you need to do your own interpretation what's important is your own interpretation you see when when you see when an old wise Habboba, let's say, grandmother or a grandfather gathers his grandson or her children and tells them a story. Everyone will enjoy the story. The story is fun. Everyone enjoys the story. Especially when the hero conquers the darkness and wins and everyone is happy but in the story there's a point you need to interpret your own interpretation to the story even Allah in the Quran tells story we tell stories we tell stories that's what we do because the science is in the story the question is how do you interpret the story so let's take the story one more time shall we God created man and from his rib he created the woman first of all let me tell you something when we talk about creation we all know that creation comes from a woman it comes from a woman womb This is very obvious, you don't need a scholar or a spiritual teacher to tell you this. You know that man comes from woman, womb. There's a saying. By Imhotep. Imhotep. Imhotep is the architecture of the great prince of Giza. He is the, the first medicine man, the first healer. Imhotep said that if you want to know yourself, If you want to know yourself, go and 
much nature. If you want answers for yourself, watch nature and the answer will come. Watch the trees, watch the animals, watch the mountains. From there, you get the answer. So let's put the creation story of religion, let's put it on test, shall we? Where did, you, where did I come from? Let's go to nature. Let's check out nature. Okay, I'm checking out nature. I'm seeing a turtle giving birth. A female turtle giving birth. I'm seeing the a female rabbit giving birth. Okay, let me check again. Everything I see in nature, I see a female giving birth. There are no one creature on this plane that ever male creature that give birth. It's very obvious. You know, they say always they say truth is, is, is truth is easy. Truth is uh, is pure. There is pureness in, in, in truth, but there is wickedness in the lie. It's complicated. You get it? If if I want to lie to someone about something, I have to put on a plan to lie to me. Lies just lies just not just come. I'm hiding a, a chocolate bar from someone. Yeah, where is my chocolate bar? Well, uh, yesterday my friends came and he saw the chocolate bar and he knew the chocolate bar. So I, I give him a story, a complicated story to confuse him. And he took the chocolate bar and by the way, uh, he saw that uh, he saw that uh, bag you have in, and he took it too. He said, it's a "Nice bag." He's going, going. He's, he's traveling to. to North Korea soon. So I'm giving him this, all this confusion. So he just listened to the story. He just listen. Uh, you, who's your friend? Ah, my friend, my friend, Khalid, my friend. Ah, Khalid, ah, he took the, okay. But the truth, the truth is straight. The truth is pure. And the truth is everywhere. It's the lie that needs to be buried and guarded. You need to guard the lie. Because once the lie comes out, you're finished. You need to understand that answers comes from within. It does not come from without. tell you the truth everything you see around here is a lie everything the only truth is what's happening within you and the reflection that comes from that truth and lie is an addiction Another thing is in normal life, in everyday life, lies are just lies. They don't have anything behind it. But when we speak about spirituality, when we speak about religion or esoteric knowledge, there is the lie and the truth put together in order for you to see which ones I mean they told you this is a test go pick up any religious book and and will tell you that you live here in a test this is a test 
So at the end, we will figure out who passed the test and who doesn't pass the test. It's your mind. Your mind is the most, is the gold. Your mind is the gold. You know when they say that people come from wherever, they came from outer space, aliens or whatever, searching for the gold. It's not the physical gold. It's your mind. Because once I get control over your mind, then I will get the gold and I will get the goods, I get everything. So if I want to control you, I will control your mind. I do not even need fear. And fear is another subject, because you do not need to fear God. This is very uh, dangerous behavior that religion puts on you. Oh, fear God, fear God. You have to fear God. God loves those who fear them, who fear Him. If you fear God, then you're okay. No, no, <laughs> no, you're not okay. Fear is not okay. Fear is a survival, survival mode. Fear only exists for you to survive. If you are in a jungle and a bear comes about, about to eat you and you don't have fear, he will chop you out, right? <laughs> you fear the bear so you run away for yourself to survive. That's what fear for. So fear is a disease. Fear is a disease. Is a this is. You do not to fear anything. What well, the reason I'm saying this is you have to understand example where I'm living. It's different here. I'm in, I'm in Sudan. You know where I am? I'm in Khartoum, Sudan. It is forbidden by Sharia law to say that Allah is everywhere or Allah is within. You, you, you get killed for it. Can you imagine the fear that the people going through? The reason I'm saying this is because once you awaken that which is within you, you don't fear anything anymore. And most importantly, you do not you do not be tempted by material things. You have to understand this. Because once you are fulfilled from within, no one is coming from without. It's going to give you something more than you have. You already have everything. You awaken the chakras. You awaken the chi. What more? Do you need from the outside? Nothing. So, let's go back to creation. Uh, you want to know where you come from? I'll tell you where you came from. You come from your mother. Your mother has created you. As simple as that. It's very simple. Truth is very simple.
it's the it's the religion it's the laws it's the interpretation it's darwin it's whoever who puts these creation myths darwin said we came from apes how could you say that maybe you came from apes <laughs> but not we all came from apes come on man It's a dumb interpretation. Human is very is very advanced to be comfortable. It doesn't matter where you come from. What matters is what you can bring. What do you have to bring? Don't tell me a creation story. Don't confuse me with creation stories. You see, I don't follow no one. It's not that I'm not religious, so I follow science. Or I'm not a scientist, so I follow religion. No. I took both of them. I took the best in both of them to complete me. So I don't need to follow anyone. I don't need to carry any flag and say, "Hey, this is my flag. This is where I present." This is no. I don't need that. I don't need to follow anything. You too. So let's back. Let's get back again to the creation story. The answer is in nature. If I paint a painting, I have painting around me, all around me. I paint pictures. I paint whatever. This is a creation. These words are coming out of my mouth, like Chris Rock said. The words are coming out of my mouth. These are creation. These words are creation. Everything is creation. So the little story that you get from creation, it just limits your mind. You should expand your mind to this infinite potential that you have. I'm not here to tell you who I am or who my ancestors are. Or how great my ancestors are, and how bad these other races are. It's not my job. It's not going to save me anyway. You have to look within yourself, because the answer is within. You. Another thing people speak about is they speak about Nubia. Here in Sudan, we have this uh, we have this compassion, this link that we want to bring, this ancient thing that we don't understand, because we live around these ancient temples all around us, and we know those great people who lived here. But the history. Is not important. The science, the mystery, is what's important. So, to the Sudanese people, I'm going to bring you this sad news. We're not going to dress up a Nubian style and, and dance all the way. This is not going to happen like that. History is just history. But the science, the science is the important. It's not how the Nubian lived or the Kushite. It's not how they lived or how they eat or how they dressed. It's the science that they have. So when someone say that uh, the Kushite are 
are the founders of civilization. Yes, the Kushite are the founders of civilization. But what civilization are we talking about? <laughs> what is it? Is it the... What is it? Civilization is not the buildings. It's not the clothes. It's not the gold. It's not the king. Oh, look at that great king. We must be great people. No! It's the science. The people in Kush, in ancient Kush, they used to do machines with metal. They used to do flying machines. And you are so, now you're so mesmerized. You're so, wow, look at these machines. Look at this technology that we have. We had this technology thousands of years ago, here in Kush. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing is new under the sun. So knowledge goes and travels all around the world and it comes back. Because it, knowledge is internal and it's infinite. You can't put knowledge in, in a bottle or in a, in a box. Knowledge is infinite. It's everywhere. When I, I see people here uh, in Sudan, people are leaving the country by thousands. Young people, I just read in the newspaper, uh, a couple days ago, 300,000 people just go away from the country looking for a better life. Because there's nothing here impressive. Really. Not until they know themselves and they know who they are. Because no one is going to tell you you're an ancient Kushite but yourself but you decide to go to Europe and work as a slave so that's what you get because you are a slave your mind is a slave that's why you go to Europe and wish wash dishes for a life for your life to get that euro because you're a, you're a slave that's what you are me, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. I know who I am. I know who my ancestors are. And I know this is not about how great and how not great other people are. This is about knowing who I am. So interpret good things to the people. very important in this moment in time to know who you are and not get lost in translation everything happened for a reason that's how I put it. So all this destruction we see here, all this suffering, this darkness that we are in, it's for a reason. Because no matter how dark it gets, the light, huh? the light will shine at the end of the day. Even Bob Marley tells you that Bob Marley tells you that 
Out of the darkness must come out the light. Out of the darkness there must come out the light. So now, so it doesn't matter how dark it gets. There's always a light at the end of that road. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I'm gonna stop here, and we're gonna continue on the next clip. So I was, I will tell you to go within yourself and find yourself. So until I see you, I'll say bye bye. I'll see you next time.